talked with racers about the need for a legal racetrack. It's a desperate need for a place to take everybody off the streets. And you could see the frustration on all sides as Highway Patrolman J.D. Taylor joined our conversation. You're out here causing a lot of problems on the street. Okay, we could be, but what I'm saying, we could be causing a lot more problems. can you come? There's nobody here drinking. This is our fun. This is our fun. All that's going to happen, we keep getting people killed out here, is all of a sudden, we're just going to move in, we'll write tickets, we'll impound everybody's car. You know, I would like to see, really, I would like to see the Highway Patrol support us about getting the track open. There you go. You're not going to stop people from racing. Wouldn't you like this whole cat and mouse game to stop? I would love to eliminate this thing, yes. Officer Taylor leaves us with these photos to drive home his main point. We warn you, they are graphic. In December, a 23-year-old racing enthusiast was killed while making a U-turn on a Compton street. A racer going 100 miles per hour hit him broadside. And just a few days later, racers were back here at the same spot. People think it's dangerous. Could be if you don't take necessary precautions, but more or less it's a safe sport. Everyone's careful. But no one knows more how dangerous or... illegal street racing can be than Big Willie. So this is our old starting area. Willie has spent eight years trying to reopen a legal drag strip here at Terminal Island. I feel real bad because there's been many funerals. We need to do something now. It was shut down in 1984. Willie calls it a crisis. We're too big for the public streets, and our machines are too fast for the public streets. This legal raceway in Irwindale was shut down in 1977. Seven other tracks have also been shut down. The only legal raceway left in L.A. County is in Palmdale. I think there's a, a huge need. And Dallas Gardner, president of the National Hot Rod Association, says NHRA is now making a serious commitment to help set up a legal drag strip somewhere near Los Angeles. What we need is to be able to identify places that we could have the right to race. And, and, the, and there can be a lot of restrictions in that. They just buried us. <laughs> Meanwhile, overlooking the old Terminal Island Raceway, Big Willie says the City Harbor Department recently reneged on an agreement to temporarily reopen a track here on port property. The top echelon of the Harbor Department don't care. They don't care. Harbor Commission President Ron Lushing, in a letter to Fox News, says street racing has no place at the Port of Los Angeles. He refused to discuss the issue on camera. I'm wondering, am I being shammed here? A few weeks ago, Big Willie told Harbor Commissioners a temporary track at the port could also help curb racial unrest in the city. Everybody got their own hate and whatever, but the wheels tend to mess, melt the hate. Lushing did not wave the checkered flag. I don't know that it can be done at the port. I don't believe that it can. Harbor executive Izuniel Burtz tells us no racetrack will be allowed at Port of L.A. That can't be done. There isn't the space. But Big Willie insists that isn't true, and there is plenty of unused space here at Terminal Island. We got a, a ticking time bomb, and we don't need you to say you don't have nothing available. That is not true. And I want the commissioners to investigate this. Meanwhile, thousands continue to illegally race on city streets all over Southern California. Engineers and uh, just to find out 
you know, whether we still can, you know, what's going on, and do we have to November or whatever they say. He said, Willie, it's still the same. You can probably come in for a little bit and uh, until we start working. Who and that? Uh, one of the engineers, uh, I talked to him uh, this morning. And, you know, of course, uh, a lot of the people uh, that, that's working there, you know, they kind of rooting for us, you know. Well, that's good. That's important. Yeah. yeah as long as the staff is rooting for you, that's good. Right. And so... Um, I'm putting... I'm telling you, I'm going to have something back to me in less than a week. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you were able to um, to, to see the tape. Cause that yes, kinda... yes, that was good. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah, I'm moving. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I know you're busy and everything. That's so. okay, but I'll get back to you. Okay. And I don't mind you calling, so don't worry about that. Okay. If I can't talk to you right then, I can always call you back. Right. Okay. Okay, so I'll probably I'll talk to you uh, probably to two. Monday. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Racers, a place to call so their own. You can probably find it on certain streets all over Southern California. Fox News has shown you exclusively the sometimes deadly toll of this illegal pastime. A push to legalize the sport is making headway now, and Chris Blatchford brings us up to date. Street racers. They match up on city streets somewhere in Southern California most every night of the week. Hitting speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. It is all underground and illegal. Big Willie Robinson, president of the International Brotherhood of Street Racers, three months ago told L.A. Harbor commissioners there is a drastic need for a legal drag strip. And today, again pleaded with L.A. Harbor commissioners to help him. I'm not happy fighting with the Harbor staff. I am, I got a bigger fight going to promote peace. And my gimmick is racing. Big Willie wants some of this empty port property to open a temporary drag strip here at Terminal Island. And today, Port Commissioner Grace Payne offered some hope for that idea. I, I think uh, that could be very, very beneficial to the young people of the community. I, I think that street racing could be, if handled properly. And Port Executive Director Izuniel Burtz, who a few months ago told Big Willie supporters no drag strip would be allowed at the port, Today, what in reverse? So what occurred to us was the possibility of taking this as the heart of a project, perhaps. A much bigger project. A project that would involve, yes, street racing. Bert says a bigger project here at Terminal Island might incorporate an LAPD training strip, a new automobile testing facility, and a high-tech research center. And even Harbor Commission President Ron Lushing, who in a letter to Fox News last March said, Street racing has no place at the port of Los Angeles. Today, seem to have a change of heart about a Terminal Island drag strip. We are, uh, we are considering this, uh, and uh, we shall consider it more. But as the Harbor Commission still took no official action today, Big Willie Robinson had new hope for a drag strip here. I feel it's alive. It's alive. At Terminal Island, Chris Blatchford, Fox News.